and welcome back to my channel. My name is John, the RPG Lord. And in this video, we're going to learn how to design an Arctic adventure for your group. What you see on the screen is a map of one of the islands that I created for my Arctic campaign, the island of Kiewel. The first thing you notice is Obviously, it's covered in ice. Now, when you're creating an Arctic adventure, also cold regions like tundra and taiga and this kind of stuff, is you need to remember the extreme cold. The landscape is covered in snow and ice, high wind speeds that rage across the land. You have very limited vegetation, as you can see. All what you have here at the bottom for me is a few uh, snow-covered pines. When you look at the ocean, you see these deserted islands and a few floating icebergs. So that is something that you have to consider when creating an Arctic adventure. Remember, an Arctic area is pretty much a desert. So, going back to the weather, I strongly recommend that you create a weather table for your campaign. As the players keep traveling across the icy landscape, vegetation, not, not vegetation, but the weather can change on a dime. One minute it will be sunny, and the next minute a snowstorm is gonna come raging. So create an adventure that considers the weather. We have sunshine, we have snowfall, we have blizzard, we have icy winds. Include that in your weather chart. With all this weather stuff, come all the problems along with that. You come, you have icy air walkways, you have slippery slopes, you have reduced visibility, you have avalanches, you have frozen ice that you have to air cross and you can break in. All of these make for some excellent random travel events. It also sets the mood. Imagine you tell the group you're camping at night, it's a clear sky, and you see the northern lights. Somewhere in the distance a pack of wolves is howling. So that's that's the beauty of D&D, that you can travel to places that most people will never see in their lifetime. Eerie silence can be something because there is nothing out there. Now, directly linked to the weather is the survival in this area. While many RPGs have ways where you can magically create food, I'm going to assume that your players don't have access to that. So, look in your rule books and find out what the rules for extreme cold, for exhaustion, how they're gonna get food, how they're gonna forage it. You can do hunting side quests. How are they going to find shelter? What are they gonna use to build a fire? Where are they gonna find food? And how are they gonna avoid the frostbite? The more you travel outside in the Arctic, the more you have to consider that, the more you have to protect yourself against that. This is good for search and recovery missions, like find a lost artifact, rescue a person, all of that. Now, on top of all of that, you have the variety of creatures. We have the ones that we have on Earth, like the reindeer and the walruses, and then you add the D&D &D stuff, like mammoths and dire wolves and, and yetis. All of that lives in your world and some of them even form societies so your players could stumble upon a tribe of yetis which is in itself now what kind of creatures uh, form society there as you can see i have on the very southern tip i have the se uh, settlement of cogrel which is a human settlement slash military outpost and then i have a few other uh, settlements very few and those can also serve as starting points for your campaigns. What do people do in this region besides trying to survive? Well, 
if it's part of a larger nation, there could be mining outposts, there could be trading outposts, there could be military outposts. Put it this way, this area is only for the hardest of souls. So keep that in, in mind. If you build a full-fledged city there, you better have a reason why the city is there. Otherwise, it, your game is going to become unbelievable. And you can uh, have dwarves living in the mountains. You can have snow elves living in, in igloos. All of them with their own gods and own worship. They probably might worship the Northern Lights or something like that. All of that can be included in your game. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I wish you a good day, and I see you in the next video. Remember, there's only one RPG, Lord. Have a good day.